putting North Dakota first. While some of the federal government is shut down, the agency managing the Missouri River continues to operate. The Corps of Engineers is getting ready for spring runoff after the third highest runoff in history last year. As Jim Olson reports, the Corps is at full strength as it deals with the ongoing high water issue. It's been business as usual for us and uh, been very fortunate to have a budget. Todd Lindquist is on the job and so are his colleagues at the Garrison Dam Project office in Riverdale because the Corps of Engineers was fully funded before the shutdown began. It's a good thing because water managers are still trying to shuffle elevated water releases and reservoir levels after the huge runoff last year. We had uh, third highest runoff year on record and we're able to pass that with pretty minimal impacts considering the volume of water we, we saw this year in the system. Lake Sakakawea is supposed to be at 1,837.5 feet as of February 28th. That's two feet below where it stands today. So after dropping releases in recent weeks to allow good ice to form on the river downstream of the Garrison Dam, those releases have been ramping up again. That'll mean smoother ice below the surface. We pretty well have a good ice cover now, and we just last week started uh, gradually stepping up releases slowly. It smooths out the bottom of the ice and the channel. Essentially becomes a more efficient channel, and then we can put a larger volume through it without breaking the ice up. While the Corps of Engineers is not affected by the partial government shutdown, there are some areas here near the Garrison Dam that have been impacted. The National Fish Hatchery is closed. We've, we've had some impact because of that, but as I stated, the, the Corps of Engineers was fortunate to be fully funded. We have a full appropriation and we're uh, operating business as usual. And that business includes continuing to manage the reservoirs on the Missouri to be ready in case there's another major runoff year ahead in 2019. At the Garrison Dam, Jim Olson, KX News. Lindquist says the Corps expects to have the three major reservoirs on the river to have full flood control storage available by March 1st. Anglers ready to